Good morning, everybody. Got this Christmas present all wrapped up here. We're ready to go down to Minnesota. Got 16 footers under here, 11 lifts. So let's get going. Six hour drive down and a six hour drive home after that. So I got here nice and early. So I got loaded right away. There's no one behind me even, so I was able to get tarped inside the tarp shed here, which is awesome because it's raining outside. So I like staying a little more dry. It was nice. Future 
and money in the bank, food in the fridge, roof over our head. As long as I keep looking at the water and talking about it, I keep myself motivated. One day, one day, we're gonna have a boat out there. And it's gonna be sooner than, than, than I think, I hope. One step at a time, but we're, we're, we are making progress. All we gotta do is get these slow pokes out of our way so we can make some moaning. We just gotta keep slowing down, slowing down, dude. Speed limit's 60, it's not 20. Come on. Come on. He's probably heavy. It's a super beat full of fuel up there, actually. He's, he's probably heavy. But that doesn't mean I don't got places to be. I got dreams to chase. Get out of my way.
I'm empty. <coughs> well, I made it all the way back to Grand Forks already. Grabbing some fuel here. It's my cheapest price. It's only a dollar five Canadian per liter here. It's like two eighty seven per gallon U.S. It's fantastic. Grabbing some of that cheap juice. And there's the empty trailer. It is snowing slightly. Can you see it? Uh, camera won't do it justice. I drove through a pretty good snowstorm. Just like half an hour, not even maybe 20 minutes from here as I was heading north. So 20 minutes south of here. It was coming down pretty hard. I felt like I was going light speed through Star Trek, right? <laughs> this is big thick snowflakes. Traffic was moving along pretty good. Had to slow down a little bit, but now yeah, we made it and slowed down a little bit. Apparently this is going to be moving up north and uh, it's kind of going to follow me by the time I get home uh, I'm going to get there around midnight to my shop and my wife just uh, messaged me to let me know hey it's supposed to be snowing when I get to the shop so just be careful so it looks like we'll be dealing with snow all the way back up got about another two to two and a half hours to go okay let's get out of here before the snow really starts again Hoping I left it behind me. That's where I tried to leave it anyway. I looked at it, I said stay. See how well it listens. This isn't so bad. This is a light snow here. Down around Hillsboro, uh, Hillsboro, North, North Dakota. It's on I-29. Like I said, like 20 minutes south of Grand Forks. I guess that'd be between Grand Forks and Fargo. It was coming down really good. That's no good. So I want to get home before anything really starts. I know tomorrow it's supposed to snow pretty good at home too, uh, from what I heard. I want Old Blue in the shop as soon as possible. Get it out of the snow. Okay, well, got everything loaded up into the pickup. That's dirty old blue sitting right here. Tomorrow is Wednesday. Uh, it's an extra day at home uh, to prepare for Thursday on our transfer day. So we'll talk more tomorrow about what's going on on Thursday. Then Thursday we go into Winnipeg to the fertility clinic. Uh, and then Friday I'm home as well to help Britt the next day. She has to completely relax for the next day or two. So I'll be at home taking care of everything, everything that I can or doing my best, trying my best, uh, so she can just relax and uh, let everything work out the way it's supposed to in her body. And I'll probably be leaving again. Oh, well, I'm thinking probably Sunday night, maybe Monday morning. I'll make myself available for Monday morning. 
as long as I get Old Blue back. Uh, Old Blue's going into the shop on Thursday on our way into Winnipeg to the clinic. I'm gonna drop it off at PBX and uh, just get a couple of little touch-ups done, a little bit of a little bit of small work. I figure I'll get that done while I'm at home. And uh, that'll be that. I'm pretty tired. It was a long day today. It was, it was uh, a little over 12. I think it was about 12 and a half hours of driving today. I made it back to the Canadian border pretty much with one minute left on my U.S. hours of service. It was perfect. So I drove 11 hours in the U.S., crossed into Canada with one minute left on my clock, and then I had an extra two hours, right? So I drove another hour and a half here yet. And now I just got the truck put away. So that equals 12 and a half hours of driving today. And that's not including uh, tying the load down, well, getting loaded first of all, then tying it down, tarping it and getting to the customer. I had to wait there for them. They were on break for about a half hour. I sat there for a half hour waiting and then had to take my tarps off, roll them up, put them away, take my straps off, roll them up, put them away, get unloaded and then start heading home. And then we stopped for fuel yet in Grand Forks. So all in all, it was probably close to a 15 hour day. I think that's what I would say, 15, 16. Long day anyways. Welcome to the life of a truck driver. This is what we do. It's just a normal day. I'm not complaining. I'm just, I love what I do. And it's a good thing because if I didn't love what I do, uh, working these long days would be miserable. So. Anyways, thanks for watching everybody. I'm gonna head home now. If I don't talk to you again on this vlog, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button and the bell so you don't miss my next video. We've got some home time coming up now uh, with these appointments. We'll talk to you more about that tomorrow. Take care.